Now recall in the previous series of videos, we discussed the time autocorrelation function of energy signals. And we said that if you had an uh, energy signal, some signal GT, and you took the autocorrelation of it, and then you performed the Fourier transform of the autocorrelation of that signal, you would get uh, a new result. And that result was going to be the energy signal density of the energy signal. Now, what about power signals? So if you have a real power signal and you take the autocorrelation, we're going to use uh, this definition, which is the same way that we approached the um, power signals previously. And we're going to say that this is the autocorrelation of this real power signal. And in the time domain, we would have this um, autocorrelation. And then in the frequency domain, we have this definition of the uh, autocorrelation of the time domain function transformed into the frequency domain. And that was the power signal density. Uh, now recall that we had the same result for the energy signal density, where if we did the autocorrelation, then we defined this as the energy signal density. So the autocorrelation of a power signal is going to give us a power signal density in the frequency domain, and the autocorrelation in time of a energy signal is going to give us the energy signal density. So this is an important concept and relates our understanding of power signals and energy signals.